Good morning, class. Our project is about the demographics affected by Nazi racial cleansing. And I am Samuel Manuel. I'm Sean McGee. And I'm Zebby Miles. At the losing World War I, Germany was in a very depressive state. The Nazis were revolutionaries who wanted to change that. Their achievements encouraged many people to overlook or even to support radical Nazi policies. Many people are unaware that Hitler wasn't always in control of the Nazis. Even before him joining, they held extremely nationalist, racist, and anti-Semitic views. He was appointed a position recruiting and making propaganda. He simply expanded and marketed on those ideas and views. I believe that this job played a major role in his methods later on down the line. He has always had a racist worldview. He believed that people could be separated into hierarchies of different races, some superior and others inferior, Germans being the superior race. Become a very powerful speaker during the meetings, Hitler proposed to break the traditional party structure for a dictatorship. At the rejection, he resigned and eventually got what he wanted. Hitler not controlled, attempted to overthrow the Weimar Republic. He failed and, got, and was arrested. After his release, he changed his approach from force to actual support through simple and effective propaganda. His two main tools were SA soldiers, also known as brown shirts, which represent the uniform colors that you can see right here, and SS soldiers. The Nazi parties used these two forces to terrify the opposition to sovereign nation slow to eliminate them entirely or scare the people into supporting them. So from his previous job, he used his techniques using the propaganda to demonize Jews. From the beginning of the year, we learned that the first step to getting rid of the race is to dehumanize them. So this, include, this included excluding Jews from public life, their professions, and public education. He also enacted hundreds of laws to define, segregate, and impoverish um, German Jews. November 9, 1938, Nazi began the outbreak of anti-Jewish violence, eventually leading to the final solution, which resulted in two-thirds of Jews dying during the Holocaust. So this map here shows basically German expansion by 1942. As you see in the two shades of red, this is German territories or their allied territories. And the grays represent the neutrals or the allies. So here are the demographic groups affected by Nazi racial cleansing. So he, earlier he talked about the Jews and this is about the LGBT community. Hitler had a plan for a master race allowing only a certain certain ethnic groups to be a part of it, which were basically just white people in Germany and in Europe. Homosexual people were not accepted. Hitler searched his own men and the men of many other nations for homosexuals and then put them into concentration camps. All homosexual inmates had to, had to wear um, pink triangles on their uniforms for, um, for distinction so they know who's the homosexuals and who's like the officers and not. And there is anywhere between five and 15,000 homosexuals were killed uh, from concentration camps. Just like the Jews, the gypsies were targeted just because of their race. Hitler saw Jewish people as a race and wanted them annihilated. Gypsies were a, a, um, pretty much a nomadic people and them and the Jews were denied privilege, certain privileges in many European um, countries. Germans believed both were worthless and half a million of them ended up getting killed. Before World War I, very few dark-skinned people lived in Germany. The French brought in black soldiers and some married white women, white German women and then had children. Hitler wanted the children eliminated as he thought they were insult to the German nation. Hitler would um, insult their parents, saying their mothers were whores or they were raped when they had these children, and they called the children themselves Rhineland bastards. Hitler then later on decided 
to to sterilize them all, all the children, instead of um, killing them. And for about approximately 400 children were sterilized. Now there was some resistance to Hitler's cause. Poland's underground army consisted of children, teenagers, men and women, and their job was to try to defend the lives of thousands of people who were targeted by Hitler in Germany. Along with that, there were many other German citizens who opposed Hitler and his views, and they tried to resist as well, but they were killed. Another group affected by the Nazi cleansing were the mentally and physically handicapped. Hitler had created this master race mentality in Germany, and the handicapped were viewed as useless to society. At the beginning of World War II, the handicapped were targeted and the euthanasia program was created. Hitler decided that the best time to use this program was during the war because the war provided a cover-up for what they were actually doing. There were six euthanasia sites as shown on this map. Hadamar, Grafenop, Harthing, Brandenburg, Bernberg, and Sonnenstein. The euthanasia program was a corporation of doctors put together to review medical files of patients in these institutions to determine which handicapped or mentally ill people should be killed. Older patients were killed in the gas chambers while younger patients were killed by lethal injection or by starvation. And finally, Jehovah's Witnesses were also a group that was targeted and mistreated during this time period by the Nazis. The Jehovah's Witnesses were persecuted for many reasons. Reason number one being resistance. Jehovah's Witnesses believed that they were the only answer to God and refused to accept total Nazi power. An example of this was that Jehovah's Witnesses refused to give the heir Hitler signed and salute when requested, which was viewed as a violation of German citizenship and led to many arrests. The second reason they were targeted was commitment to peace. Jehovah's Witnesses were opposed against the war and refused to participate in fighting or working in the war industry. Jehovah's Witnesses that did this were arrested and sent to concentration camps where they were forced to wear a purple triangle as shown at the top of the screen. And finally, the last group that we're going to talk about today are priests and pastors. Hitler wanted not only to conquer all of Europe, but he also wanted to create a new religion where he replaced Jesus Christ as the person to be worshipped. Hitler expected his followers to worship the same thing. Since Catholic priests and Christian pastors were often influential leaders in their community, they were attacked by the Nazis very early because they chose not to obey these rules. Thousands of Catholic priests and pastors were forced into concentration camps where they were killed by starvation or lethal injection, as well as gas chambers. A special barracks was set up in Dachau, the camp near Munich, Germany, for the clergymen. Few survived and some were executed, but most of them were allowed to die slowly. If you look on the map at the bottom of the screen, you can see Dachau, which is where the concentration camp for the clergyman was located. And this concludes our presentation.